Hey you fellas, this is Tin Felix and you're watching our first day in Malapascua. Malapascua is a small island located off the northern tip of Cebu Island. Originally, the islanders made their living off of fishing. But as fish stocks have dwindled over the years and international tourism has grown, most of the inhabitants work in the tourism industry now. The Spanish named the island Malapascua after getting shipwrecked on the island on December 25, 1520 and having to spend weeks and weeks on the isolated island. They were worried that they would be stranded there until Easter, so they named it Malapascua or Bad Easter. Locals call the island Logon. By the time we reached Malapascua, it was already lunchtime. So after we settled everything with the hostel, we headed out to the beach to look for a restaurant. We actually did not know the way to Bounty Beach from Malapascua Budget Inn, so we ended up taking the long way. It was fine with us since we witnessed all these captivating views of the shoreline. Everyone said you could walk around Malapascua, not entirely around the edge, but most of it. One thing to take note if you decide to walk around the island, bring water, scarf, and wear sunscreen if you don't want to get horribly sunburned. Most of the beaches in Malapascua are small, bounty beach aside, and had the pristine white sun everyone dreams of. We finally spotted Malapascua Exotic Island Dive Resort where we enjoyed our sumptuous lunch. Due to the influx of tourists, from all around the world, when it comes to eating, the options in Malapascua are very diverse. Many of the restaurants offering international cuisine are situated along Bounty Beach. Menus vary in each place and you'll find options suitable for every stomach, from Asian delicacies to different European specialties. After our lunch and some photo up by the beach, Judy and Kat finally answered the call of the sea. We all indulged in the beauty of Bounty Beach. I was really captivated. Bounty Beach runs along the southern edge through the southeastern end of Malapascua, measuring around 860 meters long and about 30 meters wide at its widest. The whole stretch of beach is covered with a thick layer of powdery white sand and finely crushed seashells. Spending an hour or two to walk down Bounty Beach is one of the best ways to spend your time. The beach has multiple access points, with roads connecting the beach to the main roads, and paths to the island. If you ever find the sea calling you while you're in Malapascua, just head south. All the locals are also familiar with the locations of all the beaches on the island, most especially Bounty Beach. Bounty Beach houses a lot, if not most, of the island's bars and restaurants. Every day, the bars host happy hour, first every sunset, and second every evening around 7 to 9 p.m. The bars serve cocktails and snacks, best enjoyed by the beach in their many lounging areas and chairs. For a more local experience, explore the village where you will find many local eateries spread all around. It is especially recommended to visit the market area which is lately developing at a fast pace. New local restaurants have opened recently offering a great variety of Filipino dishes. If you're craving for a barbecue, head here when the sun goes down and enjoy the feast. This concludes the day one of our Malapascua experience. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, follow or subscribe. See you in our next episode. Thank you for watching.